I sense <clears throat> that Abba is calling us into a period of greater quietness. It's a period of rest. It's a period of coming deeper and higher in Him. Because He's shifting us into new seasons. He's shifting us into new planes. And in this transition period, every idol must be let go. Anything that would separate us from him has got to be released. Any chaff in the wheat, every, every tear among the wheat will have to go. It's not a period of force. It's a period of quiet contentment and quiet stillness. It's a period of standing still and seeing the deliverance of the Lord. The Egyptians you see today, you'll see no more. It's a period of be still and know that I am God. And when I say stillness, I don't mean just do absolutely nothing. When I say being restful, I don't mean like literally sleep all day. What I mean is to take on the posture of worship, the posture of praise. And that worship from the heart in spirit and in truth because the battle this battle it's not yours this battle belongs to the Lord and the only way to give it completely to him is to take the position of the Barak to bow down bow down in stillness and in worship bow down and worship him and let him fight those battles. Let him usher you through. The angels of the Lord hearken towards the word of the Lord. And these ministering angels will go about sending ambushment into the enemy's camp. And the enemies that were coming up on you in this vast army that was bigger than anything that you could ever fight on your own or even with all of your friends and strategies combined. You would never be able to put a finger to, but the finger of God, the finger of God will be released when you go down on your knees and have a posture of worship in spirit and truth. And going down on your knees doesn't mean that you stay only on your knees. You could get up, you could dance, you could sing, you could have different postures of worship, but the posture is worship, even though it will change according to the Holy Spirit knows. So yield. This, I'm hearing clearly, is surrender season. This is surrender season. You're giving up. You. You're dying to you. You're dying to your will. You're dying to what it is that you want so that he will be your delight and when we delight ourselves in him then he gives us the desire of our heart and that is two prong when we delight ourselves in him he puts in our heart the desires that he wants to have and then he fulfills them because we can go about pursuing whatever we want and he will give us because, you know, there is his good will, there is his acceptable, and there is his perfect will. But consider what level do you want to be at? Do you want to just be okay with him? Or do you want to be perfected in him? And if you want to be perfected in him, you have to yield fully. A kernel of wheat has seed has got to die. It has to be buried deep in the ground in order for it to come alive 
this is Jehovah. This is Jesus. Yeah. The one, the resurrected one, who wants us to bury ourselves and our will in him and come alive in him. This is a word for this season. It's a beautiful word. It's a humbling word. And you're going to see the greatest fruitfulness that you've ever seen in your life. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ever hope, ask, or think in every relationship in the relationship with yourself between you and yourself the relationship between you and God the relationship with you and others and that also means marital relationships whether you're waiting on marriage this is wedding season but you want to be married and hitched to the right one the marriage relationship marriage decision is the single most important decision that you'll make outside of the decision to yield your life to follow Christ and to be led by Holy Spirit and you want to be certain that you are equally yoked and by that not just somebody who believes what you believe but somebody who with whom you are purposed to do the work of the kingdom together for which you have been prepared as either help me as a wife or as a head, the husband. Yield to him and all things. When he is in it, all things will become new. It will not be like what it was. It will not be like what it was. For those of us who have divorced, it will not be as it was. When God is in it, all things are new. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Yield to the Savior, the one whose heart is yours and wants to invite you into the greatest love relationship that you could ever have. Trust him. <laughs>